All right. <sighs> Let's be start for the stream or for YouTube. Hey, local uh, champion there. I noticed her running around a few times. Can't remember what I'm doing. Okay. Come on. Oh, uh, oh. My bad. Of anything. Oh, she gets ads. I guess. Isn't that nice? Them ads ain't gonna save you. Oops, nope. Ah, I'm not playing Elder Scrolls. F to use. F to use. Alright, uh, one thing somebody mentioned, and I keep forgetting this. Uh, in passive, you only can have so many passives at a time. Uh, so some of these passives that I bought weren't actually doing anything because I ran out of slots. Uh, like this one, I think we can get rid of. You direct the paradoxical energies generated by your chaotic magic towards unmaking your injuries. Whenever you generate a paradox, you restore 4% of your maximum health. Uh, yeah, it should be better. I, like I said, the game volume is at like 25% and it's still super loud. I don't know why. Twitch or uh, XSplit seems to favor game sound so much. Uh, anyway, we can get rid of that one because we're not generating paradoxes very often. Um, there's another one I liked that I picked up at one point. Um, Resident, blah, 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 no. I think it's this one. Yeah, Resident Energy of your Chaotic Enigmas automatically grant power to you and your group members without the need of purging, which I don't even know what that means. In addition, you have an 18.5% chance to generate one Paradox every second while in combat. Uh, that seems pretty good, so we'll replace that. Uh, the other ones we'll keep. Um, this one that says, whenever you take damage from corruption or martyrdom while your health is below 50%, you're healed for 45. That seems okay-ish. I don't really have any other passives to throw in there. Honestly, there's that one that we read earlier, but that one seems kind of blah. What's this one? Oh, that's the that's the base one that we just took out. Gotcha. And I I want to keep this because I want to keep that dot to to uh, synergize up with Malefaxium and and that passive to do extra damage. But uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, I've had a, had a day to cool off after that last session. This game was pissing me off then. Search near Nicholas Winter for information. Is that what this quest is? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. So, let's uh, do the typical... I forgot those guys have such a crazy range on that shotgun. They're just night watchmen, watchmen with a shotgun. I kind of wish I had a shotgun. Nice try. Oh, damn. It's like he pulled the bullets back. What the hell was that about? Oh, hey. Eh. Well, still really hit me there. The shielding up. There we go. All right, Nicholas Winter. Hopefully that's not Mr. Winter over there. It's being eaten. Wait for our help to come back a little bit. I got my daily, so I got a bunch of AP. That's what I got for my uh, last daily. Nope, they were just eating the dirt, I guess. His daughter's keepers. Okay. We'll leave you be. You look like you've got enough problems of your own. Flesh cutter. Why do these all have names? I wonder what's what's like what's so special about these dudes? Why do they have names? Night Watchman. I'm sure there's gotta be a reason. His daughter's keeper. Oh, that was the the named or unique or whatever the hell it's called. Oh. Oh. Oh, this thing. We saw this before. Jack the lad lost his head, left it where the lovers kiss. God damn it. F. F, not E. Search for the area referenced in the graffiti. Okay. Let's go over here. Nope. Come on. 
I'm gonna have to turn queuing back on because you like you have to wait until that animation is like 100% done. Because if you don't, like it just will not use the ability. Like I say, there needs to be some kind of ah shit. This uh, get it off. There, is, there needs to be like a middle ground. Like cue it for like half a second. Something. Get this shield up. Ah. Didn't take any damage, but he did knock me back. I keep forgetting to the right click uh, chaos thing. I have to be closer. Oh, he's got a computer Hello. quest, whatever that one is. Oh, I've already got a computer quest. Oh, Helen Bach. Oh, it's in, okay, so computer is investigation. Uh, let's see. Where's our quests? What is Helen Bach? Oh, is this the... Um... Oh, gosh. Yeah, that one's going to be a pain. Because that you can be, like, literally game. anywhere. Literally anywhere. Even in a different game. Yeah, Mom's calling. She's really good at timing. When not to call. It happens. Oh, you're back to playing 13-2? Alright, so where is this? Where the lovers kiss. I'm trying to even remember. Like, seeing anything. Like, two statues. Or basically, any statue that would uh, make me think where lovers would kiss. Probably not that. Just a wild guess. Oh, I like that effect of the lighthouse in the distance. I'm trying to be fairly methodic. Nope. Don't want to be near that thing blowing fire every damn where. I'm also looking at the map itself to see if I can see anywhere that sticks out. The roller coaster, that makes the most perfect logical sense. No, I didn't want to switch quests. Not that it really seems to matter that much. No, not that lighthouse. All right. I'm gonna read it again. Jack the lad lost his head, left it where the lovers kiss. Hmm. I feel like it's one of those when I see it, it's gonna be fairly obvious. Yeah, I thought you'd given up on Final Fantasy 13 too because of the uh, frustration factor. Do I forget the details, which is I guess not surprising. Yeah, we're definitely going to try to focus on main quests first, so we can do the da get the dailies knocked out. Right, it's probably not... Hello. There's a bench. There's benches everywhere. No. I thought that was like a little hut. It's just the rainbow arch. For the pathway. Hello. Alright, so that's just that again. Oh, hello. It's a cave. Lovers like to be secluded, right? No. Guess this is not it. Because I've got to make a wild guess it's in the park. Oh. Uh, 13, not 13-2. Did you skip 13? Well, I guess it is technically 13-1 in that case. Fair enough. I'm still mad I can't run around in this track. Ah, uh, of course. Of course. The lake with the swans. What a romantic setting. I like to... Whenever I'm taking a girl to neck, I like to take her where there's a bunch of fake plastic swans. 
Chicks dig fake plastic swans. Suck, Carney. Where are you coming? Ah, oh, everybody want to miss the party. Ah, oh, I missed it anyway. So we're back here again. There's that mud golem which we couldn't find before. Peter, no! Oh yeah, we killed Peter before, I'm pretty sure. Come on. No, oh, bam, Peter. Littering the park. What the hell, dude? Other people are trying to use this. Rude. I feel like he still had his head, though. Find the second relic piece. Wow, this is a really loud gazebo. Uh, that is a quest we, we did already. Oh, here we go. Almost at E again. Quick access inventory updated. I'll examine the book. Nope. Oh, okay, it's an in in inventory. Oh, Jesus. It's not a book. That's a... Uh, Oh, we have to go. Okay, that's fine. Can I use this? Oh, don't have card items. Okay. I thought he picked it up. How silly that when I clicked it, I thought it would actually do the thing. Sam Krieg, the revenants within. No, my dolly. That looks like the old, uh, dead, please, no picture. Find the author who specializes in the occult. Is that shown on the map? I'm guessing he's probably dead, like, just with the search of the graveyard. I don't remember where the graveyard is, and I'm seeing it marked. Uh. <laughs> Red's bait and tackle. We're kind of close to the... Uh, it's not marked on the map, at least as far as I can tell. Now I've completely forgotten where the... Uh, where the other is. So let's do that lighthouse quest. We've had that one for a while. Let's, let's do that. It's kind of far off, but it's not too bad. We got our sprint and sh sprinting shorts on. Excuse me, Pole. Mind if I bump into you slightly there. Face plant. Oh, yeah. Chicks really like to dig to make out by the swan in Fallout 4. That putrid stench at the lake. Giant super mutant trancing, prancing about. Yeah, they totally dig that. All right, undead. You guys just uh, fine. Jesus. Apparently, they just uh, got to do everything together, including die. I think these eaters are like drawn by just combat because they always like pull up out of nowhere. That least have enormous aggro radius, radiuses, radius, radii. Nice tracksuit, though. Oh, damn. That's, uh, pretty sweet looking out there. Yeah, step in this. Come on. There you go. Step into my chaos. My chaos circles. I don't know. Slaughtering body. I feel like we ran out of, like, descriptive terms for the walking dead here. You're gonna aggro anyway. Nope. You're gonna aggro anyway. All right, you guys just get on that man. The shield takes forever to pop back up. Come on. Oh, what? 
Where'd that name go? I just saw a name. Oh, he's way down there. Not gonna jump down there. Oh, and somebody mentioned in the comments that there is no fall damage in this game, so that's good. How do you even begin building shit like this, by the way? Like, how the first people are like, able to build bridges? I've always wondered shit like that. I guess somebody has to, like, take a rope and climb one side? Oh, hello. Lurking Wendingo. Not really lurking so much as skulking. Aw. My clones didn't even get to kill anything. All right, let's see what's over here before we leave. I'm sure there's a honeycomb. Now I'm going to apologize for seeming abrupt, impersonal, and presumptuous. I simply feel it's my duty to inform you that you have ex ex uh, exhibited great competence in the field, and if ever you should tire of all work, the mere... What? If ever you should tire of all work and the mere promise of play, look, I'm not saying it would be easy or even possible the way things currently stand. Kirsten is still full of cheer and encouragement, I presume. We've met a few times at council meetings. I find her terribly acute. Take a stroll through London sometimes. Breathe in tradition. Okay, I have no idea what that was on about. Like, zero clue. Um, oh, right, we got some uh, things we can use to upgrade our weapons. Let me go over here, because the enemy's probably going to respawn. <sighs> All right. Um, I guess we'll... Upgrade this some more. I'd like to get it to level 20. Oh, wow. That would actually get it all the way to 20 by itself. Nice. That's uh, the only other weapon we have. Critical empowerment results. Oh, wow. It went, instead of 18, it hits 20. Nice. So we can't upgrade that again. Let's go ahead and use that on this. Oh, wow. To a level 7. That was pretty sexy. Nope. God damn it. Almost got that belt max level. Did they ever reopen the auction house? Oh, they did. I haven't even looked at that. Hmm, what is this? An elevator. Let's check outside first, though. Check around the bottom. So we have two quests that are like, yeah, look around on the island. That's going to be fun, trying to find those. Anything tricky? I'm actually kind of nervous to run against the, the railing. I feel like the railing doesn't look all that sturdy. and very easily fly over the side. All right, let's go to the top of the lighthouse. I'm sure there's something up there. Whoa. Oh, well, that was a super fast elevator ride. Almost like it was just a loading. Just a load. Aha, see? Maybe there'd be at least one of these. Ah, about the Orochi group of all things. Frame rate up here is... Not perfect. Oh. Oh, hey! Wow! Blind luck. We found the author. Holy shit. Nice. So, what was the next part of that quest? Search the lighthouse for the third relic piece. Okay. It's in the... Oh, my God. It actually is in the trash. It's like, ah, that's thing that could bring about the end of the world and give me unmeasurable power. Eh, just throw it in the bin. Combine the relic pieces. Ooh. We double clicked. Did I mention I fucking hate purple? Now we know the Phoenicians weren't at the amusement park just to enjoy a little family time. I can only imagine the repercussions from us beating them to the punch and gathering these relic pieces. Can't say I'm that worried about it. Just surprised by their interest in Beaumont is all. Seems he sparked quite an interest. Either way, job well done. Keep up the good work and keep an eye out for any more Phoenicians storming out of the cracks. Heh <laughs> cracks. 
What is this? Oh, a talisman. Is that a new uh, inventory slot item? Oh, it is. Uh, three magical protection, three physical protection, and 19 attack rating. Cool. We still have two other, or uh, three other slots. Three other slots to fill, as it were. Uh, wait, and that still wasn't a main mission? What? I I really don't get still how they classify like what's a main mission and what's not. Like that was one of our main story missions, I think. Yeah, it totally was. So bizarre. What is next on this? Locate the survivor at Innsmouth Academy. Okay, we're probably not going to do that next. Let's talk to Sam Craig. He's a reasonable man. Ninety-nine filthy undead on the wall. Ninety-nine filthy undead. If one of them filthy undead were to fall. <laughs> 99 filthy undead on a wall. Hell of a shot, sir. The movies lied. They can take one to the head and keep on ticking. The dead keep rising, the buzz fades. Every day it's the same thing. Drink, shoot, ride, ride, shoot, drink. Like a hamster on a wheel. Around and around we go. Do you ever do that? Keep going when it serves absolutely no purpose? When it's already clear you're not making any kind of difference, a reasonable man might say, this isn't working. I gotta change things up. I just like to keep doing the same People thing do over things and over again. Differently. Look for a way to break the cycle. Find a way to give those things closure. Instead of being stuck in this endless grind. But I write for a living. I make millions repeating myself. What's your excuse? <laughs> that one's like, Jesus, I just want to leave. Let's see, I don't think I can take this other one. This crime and punishment either. Yeah. Because <sighs> I had to find that uh, photo or whatever. Acquire flares from gutted fishermen. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Damn. Frame rates. <laughs> this is a bad place for the frame rate to be choppy because it feels like you're gonna like lag and hitch up for a second and then fall over the rail. All right, let's go kill some gutted fishermen. Cause get it, the fishermen are usually gutting the fish. I like how sometimes the quest, like them babbling on, doesn't seem to have like literally anything to do with with what the quest NPC is talking about. They just go on a little rant, and you're like, okay, hey, you know what? You are you talked about riding and how you can't kill the undead. Let me go kill some gutted fishermen for some flares. Would that make you happy? He's like, what? Where'd you get that idea? And you're like, nah, trust me on this one. I, I, think, I think that's what you need. Quick access inventory Whoa. updated. Inventory. Oh, that's the, for the flares, gotcha. That was like a special item or something I got. But no, it wasn't. Oh, uh, waiting on. Waiting on cooldowns. Nope. Alright, he's like, I'm gonna be sick. I just need two more flare. Oh, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting she's down there. I could jump down there, not take any damage, but screw that noise. Both of our... Oh god. It's gonna be sick everywhere. We know one more flare. One more flare. Oh, Hollow Knight? Yeah, you can definitely tell that's not my type of game. Well, I said it about Super Meat Boy too. And I ended up liking that game. Alright, so we have the flares. Use the flares to draw Sam Craig's attention to groups of zombies. Okay. Uh, 
I don't like that guy standing there. Don't like you standing there, buddy. I'm the beach police. Damn it. Oh. Excuse me. Nope. Eh. We'll kill this group. Kinda didn't mean to aggro them. Boom. Quick access inventory updated. Inventory. I love that. British people are so cute when they try to use English. Uh, shift two. I really, that, what's one cool thing about this game? I don't know if this is a new thing or if it's old, but like when you have inventory items that you need to use for a quest, you have like a special like quick inventory, like shift one, shift two, shift three. So this way you don't have to drag it out into a hot bar and then like that's WoW's problem, right? You have to like drag it to your hot bar and then you use it for a while and then you don't have any use for it anymore. And they try to fix that by having it accessible via here, but you still have to click it. This way you can actually just use the button, you know, shift one or shift two or whatever. Pretty nice. I was watching him shoot him. Got you into my sights. He should totally talk like Widowmaker when he does it. He looks a lot like Widowmaker. Except not even remotely close. <laughs> Are we just like giving him something to do, I guess? He's bored. Nice. Nice interrupt, sir. Hey, can you even see these? Probably logically, probably not. Ah, he probably could. I like how we're just casually standing here like, boy, I sure hope he doesn't blow us away. Collect half-eaten corpses. Oh, boy. That's what I want to do. Oh, hello. I'm going to start making my way back to the lighthouse. An abandoned junkyard. This is not really much of a junkyard. It's like three or four abandoned vehicles. Hey, how you doing? I'm in a junkyard. Not, so I'm not doing well, obviously. Good point. Weird mechanical golem. Oh, I say, like, who's that? I keep seeing, like, who is that handsome guy who's helping me out? Oh, it's my doppelganger. I don't really like Metroid, Metroidvanias. That's also my other issue. I don't really like them. Not that I, like, my main issue with Metroidvanias is I really hate when I run into a case where, like, oh, I see an item, or I see this place that I should be able to get to. Let me try to get to it. And then I can't get to it, and it's like, okay, well, am I just not figuring out the correct way to get to said thing or is it because I don't have this item that I have to have in order to get it that's the main reason honestly I don't even like I don't like metroidvanias and I can't remember the places that I need to go back to it's like oh, okay well obviously I need to uh, like get a new item to get to this area but I won't remember that like especially if, like you know a lot of times you have to go there for the story but sometimes it's for Extra items. Oh, hello. Ouch. Hung with a hook. That probably didn't feel really wonderful on his spine. Wait, what? Today's the last day to make Steam credit by obtaining and selling the sale trading cards? What? Oh, wait. Oh, are they doing no stupid uh, limited time cards again? I mean, I've did that one daily once to get the stickers, and I haven't done it again. I wasn't really all that interested in doing it. I love the track and field people who are just, like, running around. Because that's what track people do. I mean, I guess. Nice, get wrecked. <laughs> get punched. I just like the goofy animation for that attack. It's not really very good, but it's a basic attack. Those aren't supposed to be that good. All right, let's start heading way, making our way back to the lighthouse and keeping an eye out for corpses. We're going to take these half-eaten corpses to the sky, and he's going to make them fully eaten corpses. Is that what we're doing? Encouraging his cannibalism? 
Oh, hey. Too many circles. Some of them are mine. I love that that those that AE from the paradoxes like not only knock like do damage, but they also knock these guys down too. That's really nice. If I wasn't gonna like play like if I knew my uh, time playing wasn't gonna be so. Uh, Limited. I actually would probably do patron or subscribe for like a month. I like to get those freaking keys so I could open up these chests because I think that's the only way to get those. I think, yeah, because we have like literally zero. Oh, okay. You can. Use, oh, we use. Yeah, this is. I use the gold to buy them, and then as again, as far as I know, yeah, the only way to get these a room is real money. So, and it does look like it's. Mostly cosmetic? Actually, that might not be the case. Hold on. Um, no, actually, you can get useful items like SP and AP item. No, um, item buff, like level up items. You know what I'm talking about. So it's not just cosmetics, which is uh, not great. Use the corpses to lure zombies over the bluff. Now, this should be interesting, if nothing else. Uh, see, uh, oh, shit. Hi, guys. What's up? Oh, shit. Thought they would release, or I thought they would reset. I was busy looking at chat. Come on. Uh, let's see, I don't know where we actually use the corpse. Oh, here we go. I was trying to, like, it's not in my quick menu item, or a quick menu thing. Okay. I guess I had to not kill them first. I thought I would, like, spawn some. Hey! There's a new corpse. Ha! <laughs> nice. That's, uh, that's pretty amusing, actually. No, I wanted to. I wanted to lure more over the corpse, or over over the uh, the edge. And I just wanted an excuse to throw corpses on the spikes. Use a telescope, okay? What? What is this? So oh yeah, one of the zombie Goliaths. I don't want him sneaking up on me. Yeah, get him, boys! Holla. Um. That's the water. You can't use the mouse to do it. Oh, whoa, hey, big boy. How you doing? I can't move up and down, either. Okay. What are we looking for? Let's look at the quest. They ran off the cliffs, all right. The question is, what happened to them? They There have been signs of massive hulks on the beach below. Could they be involved in a coastline zombie infection? Use the pair, a panoramic telescopes nearby to see what happened to the zombies. Well, I'm going to guess this. I feel like you would need one of the, use one of these, but I guess not. To get a better angle. All right, let's uh, use this and look to the right, or uh, left, rather, because that's where we dropped them off. Um, oh, we can't. Okay. 
I'm gonna guess if we just do this. I mean, that looks fairly suspect. Okay. Kill zombie Goliath. All right, so according to the person, we there's no fall damage in this game. So far, looking pretty good. Good advice. I'll say I'd rather fight these single tougher enemies than groups of enemies, but I feel like that in, in MMOs in general lately. I feel like too many too many MMOs have like like you want to feel like a badass cool or we'll fight these ten enemies at the same time. It's like okay. Like that was fun for a while, but I'd rather certain to really prefer to fight uh, singular enemies. Like these guys. These guys get a little bulk to them, you know? Makes them scarier. Come on. I'm gonna have to turn the queuing back on, because like it is so picky about when you if you don't have that on, it is incredibly picky. There's a big one. There's a big one. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's like the last stage of this uh, quest line. A flans. What? What's a flan? And I guess I can just keep clicking the sticker icon to get all the stickers. I wasn't even quite sure what they were for. Don't be glancing. Stop left clicking out to by default, stupid. Just do it once. Even though the dot doesn't last that long. Seal the dark well. Okay. You know, you're not really my boss. I'll let it slide this one time. Take this. Thank you very much. Push the rock on there. Because we are very strong, obviously. I'll stand up here because you'll probably aggro when he respawns. I am Sam Craig. Craig. I really. What? I like Sam Craig. I really do. His books always make me giggle like a schoolgirl. He's not even 100% wrong 100% of the time. Then again, even a broken watch is right twice a day. Unless you go digital, then we're down to one. Your focus on the black pool there was, of course, the correct focus. This dark matter obviously has effect on everything it touches, living and dead, and we're getting more and more reports like yours. I don't need to tell you that we'd prefer to be in front of the curve on this. That's the what. I'll leave the how to you. Oh, first time completion rewards. Theatrical backdrop. Ooh, using this item allows you to use the lighthouse backdrop in theatrical productions? What? I can make my movies now? Press L to view. Okay, I'm guessing they mean like the the background during character select, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of. Alright. Let's get back to upgrading the book. It's the only weapon we got. And uh, I guess we'll wait on upgrade. Oh, we got a new one of these things. Gadgets. Remove, wait, is this a, this is not a, okay, we don't only have one gadget slot. Removes all active crowd control effects from you, makes you immune to further crowd control. Eh. I'd rather get one, a new one of these damn things that can heal us, but we can't upgrade it. Unless, hold on, can we fusion it with like a totally different type of upgrade? No, I don't want to fusion it, I just want to, I mean, put it on. Oh, haha, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No, okay, whatevs. Alright, there's a side quest here. Let's go ahead and grab it at him. And we got one main mission done. That's good. We need to go back to the lighthouse and talk to what's his face. Barrels filled with a thick, oily substance lie close to a dark well. The content seemed to cause erratic effects on all life and unlife on the island and warrant investigation. The barrels have been filled with a vile substance boiling in the dark well and lined along the paths of the bluff, almost as if a deliberate attempt to affect everyone and anything that passes. Go to the top of the bluff. Ah, damn. I was just up there. I mean, looks like we can get back the way we came, though. 
Hey, mind your business. If the enemy is a blob of goo, why would they just call it a blob of goo instead of flan, flans, flans, flans? Isn't that a thing, flan? All right, let's kill these because God knows when you get a million of them on you, they can actually be kind of nasty. Oh, what am I doing? Good day. Come on. Ah, yeah, flans, a Mexican custard dessert. Destroy barrels, okay? Going Donkey Kong in here. God, I love that explosion. From the shield. I mean, I, I also, I mean, I do like that other uh, ultimate or whatever it's called. The one that, like, puts the dot and it heals. But the, the shielding plus the AE is just too hard to pass up because this game uses AEs a lot. Or, uh, you know, groups of enemies a lot. So having, I guess, the both the protection and that big damage is nice. I might switch back to it at some point, but uh, it's just kind of a good save your ass thing, especially since we don't have any kind of like a real heal. Like, we have that one uh, that we can use, like, the 25% heal, heal or something, but it's pretty, pretty meh. Oh. oh, filth infected worker. Okay, oh, that's it. There's one thing we know about the people... Uh, if there's one thing we know about these people with the barrels is that they can't be too bright. Placing buckets of poison on the side of the road is a tactic about as sophisticated as, hey, your shoelaces are untied. Using this black substance to do a little spring cleaning, on the other hand, doesn't necessarily qualify as a bad idea. We'll have to learn more about it, but the magicians do have some field tests that we should, that we should but we should certainly look into it. Good thing you destroyed the prototypes primitive as they were. We don't want anyone beating us to it if it pans out. I'll, again, I'll wait on upgrading stuff. All right. Let's, yeah, let's head back to the lighthouse and finish up all this dude's quest. He's got two more. Well, we can't do the other one because we still got this Helenbot quest that we really need to, to figure out where to go. Good thing I'm not hungry. I don't need all that food talk. Yo, sup, Barora? How's it going? Barora? No, Barora, right? Barora. I feel like there's two R's, you should pronounce them both. Give both letters the respect that they deserve. <laughs> That's, I was like, I'm going to try to fiddle with my UI while I'm running. So, yeah, maybe not do that right here. We need to go kill that uh, queen as well. That named mob down at the bottom. I really like the locales in this game. They look like... I like this creepy atmosphere. I really like the amusement park. I was not disappointed with that setting. Whoa. Uh, whoop. Um... Guessing that's not supposed to happen. Uh, let's take the elevator back down, I guess. All right, so are we at? We're at the top or the bottom, right? Yes. Okay. So I didn't fully realize that I should have been up there, so I still had an invisible wall. Actually, three. Well, I meant two together, jackass. Two R's together. Oh, I was like, hey, you have a new NPC up here. Nope, that's a person. That's a weird person.
You know, you're just like one of my characters. You love evil. You don't run from it. You don't try to avoid it. You welcome it. You crave it. You invite the pain and you cherish the suffering. You dive right into the filth and you make no attempt to wash it off. And when you finally climb back out, it doesn't matter how bad it smells, how the stench and the taint cling to you. You just can't wait to dive back in. Like a dope fiend hankering for a fix, you don't want it to ever end. You need it. Your entire identity, your raison d'etre, is at stake. Think about it. Who would you be? What would you be without this? Without your precious war on evil, without your secret world, your sacred brotherhoods, your ranks and titles and rituals. You'd be just another rat stuck in the race with a dead-end job, living for a paycheck in the weekends. One long booze-soaked downhill slide towards the dark and cold grave. But you probably believe in what you do. Believe it's right. That it's good. You soak in it so others don't have to. You take one for the team. You bend over and spread your legs and let the darkness inside. And somehow you justify it all with utilitarian pragmatism. You're a bona fide American hero. Get the hell out of here. Go find an abyss to jump into. Go soak yourself in filth. Maybe it'll be different this time. Maybe you'll save them all. Maybe you'll finally find some goddamn peace. Some closure. You're just like every single character I've ever written. Fucked from page one. I feel like less that he gave me a quest than more that I just came up here for him to chastise me. Alright, let's actually like read the quest since he didn't really give us an idea what to do. Keeg promised you the same fate as the characters in his novel. It might be worth familiarizing yourself with his grisly page turners. Alright. Let me read one of your books for the first time here. Jonah felt an acute and intense sense of dread slowly overcoming him as he watched the savage coast beneath and the mon mon uh, monotonous shadows of the cold, flickering light from the old lighthouse he could see them come in from the sea, slimy and ancient beings of the most terrible nightmares, waking from their cold graves in the deep and slowly walking to the shore. The time had finally come and Jonah started to laugh hysterically to himself. Fear and wonder, he thought. Fascina fascination or plain insanity. Then he ran out to greet his inevitable destiny. Wow. Seems like a not a great idea. Okay. This is a very bizarre quest. He's like, well, he vaguely mentioned that I'm a lot like the characters he writes. So I should read one of his novels and do exactly what it says. How does that make any damn sense? It doesn't. It makes none. But let's go kill some stuff for experience and loot. That, that's all I understand. We'll probably try to jump off. We'll see how true it is that we don't take uh, fall damage. Ah, wow, hey. I guess we don't. Inhaler? Get over here so I can. Oh. Shit was not enough. Allah! Nope, where are you going? Get punched! Hehe. <laughs> hey, kill swole drog! Oh, I will. I'll show you what dr being swole is all about. Damn it. Blar, blar, blar! How unfortunate. I see they have expired. <laughs> he ran through me. What's wrong? What's your problem? Oh shit! Ha <laughs> ha! Dying in your own filth. It's what you deserve. 
Uh, let's actually go this way. Because I still want to get that named. Okay. Got your name from a random name generator in Vanilla WoW. Nice. Going old school. Damn it. Fine. Slow ass blood energy. Christ. What are you guys fighting for? Zombie Goliath and Swell. That's what I'm kind of curious of too, like to find out why they're fighting. You're supposed to be on the same team, guys. Come on. Don't be this way. Yeah, zap his ass, boys. Oh wow, we got two uh, two of those things procked that time. The uh, whatever he calls them, the paradoxes. He's like looking around. Where is this guy? There she be, the swole queen. Oh good, they put the jiggle physics on her. That's that's wonderful. Shield up. Oh, nice. She's vomiting out of her eyeballs, it looks like. It definitely went a long time. Probably the rest of my life without seeing that. Nice. Alright. Got a reward bag. What did we get? New necklace. I think we... Yeah, we just need one side mission and two main missions. One of which we're working on right now. Oh, damn it, I keep forgetting about those. Yeah, if you get within proximity of those, you need to blow them up quick. I don't think these count. Nope. But these count. The incubators. <laughs> damn it, my duplicates always show up right near the end of the fight. Alright, so these don't count. So let's run past and go back to the base. There was a lot more of these things hanging about. Yeah, like these two. Damn it! Uh, hold on a second. All right, I'm back. You guys should hear me. Sorry, my mom kept calling. I was like, okay, is this actually important? I'm like, is there like an emergency? It's like, no, they're just, they're just in the area and wanted to know if I wanted to go eat. I was like, nah, I'm kind of middle of something super nerdy. Need one more draug. Probably one over here. I feel like there's probably a 
knowledge honeycomb over here as well. But let's see if we can't find it. Before I forget. Yeah, there's, there's gotta be something over here. Yeah, I'm terrible at coming up with names, too. So I like when I do find a name I like, I tend to just try to use it all the time. Like I have a, a small stable, stable of names that I'll go through. It's got to be something over here. It's got to be over here at the edge of the world. Whoa! It gets bright all of a sudden. <laughs> nope. Damn. I'm disappointed in you, game. Really disappointed. Really thought there'd be something over here. A oh, weird, uh, weird water splashing effect. Yeah, like Malachi. I forget where I first... I mean, I know it... I heard it in uh, Children of the Corn. That's when I was like, ah, oh, that name's awesome. Also, that kid's pretty awesome. The Vertigo Tea Party thing was random too. Like that, that just popped in my head one day. Well, the Vertigo came from uh, from a character, a character in a like dinosaur fighting game. Inspect some undead. Oh no! Another part of his book just happened to be here. How lucky! How fortuitous! Allison just rang, refusing to look back. It was like one of those dreams she used to have as a child, where she was being chased. She would run and run, but the harder she ran, the slower she was going, until the beast would catch up and she would wake up screaming in a cold sweat. She could hear them now, catching up with her as she approached the cliffs. She stopped, heaving for breath, and finally turned around. There they were, and there this was no dream. The dead had risen from their graves, and now they were out for blood. Allison was all alone. It was do or die. If she could only reach the old junkyard, she might be able to find a car and get out of there. That is the one funny thing about this being a modern MMO is that you can't drive a car. I think I saw somebody on like a scooter or a moped once. Kill zombies along the block. I'm gonna guess this doesn't count. We'll kill his ass anyway. 